On today's Spicy Kiss Review, another spicy avocado sauce to try for science that I just found in my local supermarket wanted to try it out. Kumana avocado sauce, hot version. So especially after trying SoCal's avocado sauce, I wanted to go through my local supermarket to see if any other companies were trying avocado sauces and selling them and lo and behold, here's another one. <laughs> Kumana avocado sauce, they're based out of Los Angeles, looks like the owners are born in Venezuela three different types of sauces, or at least the ones that I saw. Original, there's a sweet version, and then there's this hot version. Not sure if there's any others out there. So this is a 13.1 ounce container, 371 grams. Very intrigued here by all these green flecks that are in here. Scanning the uh, ingredient list, seeing green bell pepper puree, green jalapeno puree, possibly could be those. I'm gonna assume that otherwise just the other pulp in nature is your avocado sauce. There's usually some kind of seal on here so I'm going to remove that and hope that I don't take 25 years to remove it. So luckily I did not take 25 years to remove that seal. So this one is more oniony in nature and very sweet actually on the smell. And now I'm looking back at the ingredient list. Mango puree is number two on the ingredient list and that's exactly what it is. I'm, I'm thinking back, what could that possibly be? What is that fruit? And it is mango. So never would have really associated mango avocados together, but it pours very nicely. It's got a nice thickness to it. But we shall see how this tastes. Whoa, that is very mangoey. That just threw me for a big loop right there. I'm struggling to find the avocado in this though. I mean, there, there is avocado in texture. There's maybe a slight hint of it as I keep enjoying this. So it's actually not too bad. But what's throwing me for a loop is how sweet it is. I'm just gonna go out on a limb that if most people want an avocado sauce, they may not want mango in their avocado sauce. Just letting you guys know that. There's a little bit of a kick, presumably from the habanero, even though it doesn't really taste like habanero. And it just kind of lingers on in a faint manner. I just can't seem to get past this mango puree and how it's really just affecting the entire experience. I mean, to me, it's not bad, but at the same time, it's not going to be my first choice for a, an avocado sauce. You're calling this an avocado sauce, but you're leaving me with onion and mango as the, at the forefront here. It's fine, and I'll continue to have some, but again, you're calling it an avocado sauce and it's mango and onions. I'm giving this a 3 out of 5. So folks, so no other flavors took center stage here, but would you try Kumano avocado sauce, the hot version, for science? Let me know down in the comments. That's all for this Spicy Kiss review, guys. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.